Welcome to Electron Online. When we look at exponential functions, especially the function y equals 2 to the x power, we sometimes confuse that function with the quadratic function y equals x squared. And to help us understand the difference, we'll, do, we'll go ahead and try to graph both functions on the same graph here, same x, y axis. And so we have a table of values and we'll plug in some values and see what happens. So first of all, when we plug in small values for x, there's not a lot of difference between the two functions as far as what the y value is equal to. But then as x becomes bigger, one of, the two, one of the two functions begins to grow much faster than the other. And yes, you probably already guessed it, it's the exponential function that grows faster. So let's see what happens here. When x is equal to 0, we have 2 to the 0 power is equal to 1, and 0 to the second power is equal to 0. When x is equal to 1, 2 to the first power is 2, 1 to the second power is equal to 1. When x is equal to 2, 2 squared becomes 4, and 2 squared becomes 4. So that's where the two functions are equal to one another. So notice that first the x squared function is smaller, then they become equal in size, equal in value. Now what happens when x is equal to 3? 2 to the third power is equal to 8, and 3 to the second power is equal to 9. So you see here that the quadratic function looks like it's growing faster than the exponential, exponential function. And at first, it does indeed do that. Now, when x is equal to 4, we have 2 to the 4th power, which is 16, and 4 to the 2nd power, which is 16. Here, they're the same value again. So they're the same value when x is equal to 2. They're the same value when x is equal to 4. But in between, anywhere in between, between x equal 2 and x equal 4, the quadratic function has a larger value, a larger y value, than the exponential function. But after that, when x becomes larger, the exponential function begins to uh, win out, so to speak. So when x is equal to 5, 2 to the 5th power is 32, and 5 to the 2nd power is 25. When we uh, get to x equals 6, 2 to the 6th power is 64, 6 squared will be 36. And let's take one more, let's go all the way up to x equals 10, when, oop, this would be 10, when x equals 10, 2 to the 10th power is 1024, and 10 squared is equal to 100. So you can see that the exponential function begins to take on much larger and larger values as x becomes larger than 4. So if we were to graph that, you can see that, uh, let me get a different color here, I'm looking for my favorite pennants right here. Uh, I like this color right here. All right, so you can see that when x is equal to 0, the quadratic function is 0. When x is equal to 4, then they're equal in value. Then as x gets larger, initially the quadratic function gains strength, so to speak, becomes larger much more quickly. But then, let me go ahead and erase that here. Then you can see that the exponential function begins to grow faster, 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 and starts crossing over the quadratic equation. I got to finagle a little bit right here, but it starts crossing over. And then you can see that the exponential function will grow much more quickly than the quadratic function. So if I want to draw another picture in a, a little bit different scale, you can see that the functions will look like this. So here's my exponential function, and here's my quadratic function. So initially it goes like this. Whoop, it crosses over, and then it crosses over again. And you can see that the exponential function will continue to grow at a much faster rate compared to the quadratic function. And as x becomes large, the exponential function becomes extremely large. And that's how you can tell the difference between the two functions.